And so we're still staying with the district level elections because we're giving a voice to women participating in the elections to tell us why they're participating and why they should be voted for. You know, we've always been talking about the need to increase women participation in politics. And if there's one way we can achieve that, we need to give them a platform and a voice. So this morning we've been joined by Selena Veva, who will be contesting in the Kuntunse electoral area. Regina Didia Mankwa for the Laloy electoral area. And Vera Ado is executive director of the Vera Ado Foundation. All of us have joined here. As here, ladies, good morning. And thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. How are uh, you? I am doing fantastic. How about you? Yeah, fine. Thank you very much. Uh, how's, how, how's campaign going, Zalina? Campaign is going well. It's not easy, but as a woman, you have to force it. Why, why do you say, as a woman, it's not easy? What is difficult about it? Yes, the men are many. The men are many, and they are forcing. So you have to force too. You know, as a woman, mm-hmm. you have plenty of work to do in the house. Okay. All the chores in the mm-hmm. house, you have to do it. Mm-hmm. At the same time, campaigning to do uh, community work. Okay. So that is why I said, as a woman... Mm. You so you are blending uh, house chores and everything. Why? Uh, I mean, is your husband not supportive of the process? Yes, he is. Uh, so you should be doing the house chores while you are away. Oh, he, he can't do all. He has oh. to go to the work and bring money to the house. So uh, He has to go to work and bring yeah. money. I like that yeah, statement. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but when he's uh, off work, he must also come and support yes, you. He but, but, no, no, but Selena, if there are a lot of men contesting, uh, then it means that you being a woman, it should give you an advantage. You know, That is if you choose to play gender card. But there should be something unique about yeah. you that people should know in order to vote for you, isn't it? Yes. And what is that? Yes, I'm a mother. I care for everybody. Hmm. And uh, I go the extra mile to lobby for my electoral area. Hmm. Yes. You'll be lobbying for your electoral yes. area. Yes. Oh, that's nice. I'll, I'll get back to you on the specifics. But Regina, how's the election? I mean, how's the campaigning going? Thank you very much. Election is going on well. Hmm. It's a lot of challenges, but I know we've got in my vessel. It shall be well with me. The Lalo electoral area, where is that? It's, it's Oh, Pongkatamansu. Uh, that's where it is. Yes. Please. How many of you are contesting? We are four in number, and I'm the only woman. You are the only woman? Yes, please. Oh, so then you have an advantage. Hmm. You, 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 then you have an advantage. Oh, three against three men. Yeah. I'm sure even if all the women in the area come vote for you, you win. <laughs> you can say that, but the men are forceful. Uh. They, they have a car and then pickups. Mm. Just for assembly elections? Yeah, but... As for me, I work. Oh. I work a lot. So it means you are with the people? Yes. The mm. electoral area is very big. Mm. So I have to go to every corner and then campaign for myself. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay. So tell, I mean, tell us what, what some of the challenges are before we get to why we should vote for you. Particularly, you're particularly interested in why we should vote for you. But you've talked about how you know, the men are using vehicles and you have to be working and all of that. But uh, apart from these challenges, any other challenges that you're facing? Yes. I have a lot of challenges, you know. As a woman, if you want to go forward, there's a lot of things that will draw you backwards. Mm. If you hear some of the things that they say, it's very disgraceful. But as I said, I throw all behind me and I go forward. Mm, and you go for it. Yes. Why do you want to be an assembly member? Why should the people of Laloy Electoral Area vote for? Regina Dede Abankwa, why should they vote for you? I want to serve my community, and I'm on it. Hmm. I'm a unit committee member for Lalui the tri for okay. four years now. Hmm. And for almost 15 years, I've been working in the community. Hmm. Actually, I'm a hairdresser. Okay. So I do a lot for the youth. Hmm. Yes. I train more people, okay. and I help a lot of people in my community, especially women, hmm. like widows, and so on and so forth. As, as unit committee member, I mean, you're the managers of the decentralization process. Is there anything that you did that people should look at and say, giving a chance as an assembly member, you're going to even do better? Yes, please. I've managed to uh, complete a bridge, a damaged bridge in my electoral area. Mm. I've fixed it. The pictures are here, you can see. Oh, you fixed it? I fixed that bridge. Show them to me. Yeah, okay. yeah, you fixed them as a unit committee member? Yes, please. Oh, that's interesting. So what that means is that, you know, giving the chance, you're going to be doing marvelous things for the people of uh, Laloy Electoral Area. Okay, so let me have a look at it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can okay. see how I'm 
I'm holding the shovel, mixing the mortar. Yeah, <laughs> mixing everything. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, th were these your own funds? Yes, please. You used your own funds? Yes, please. Oh, then you love your people. They should be looking at these things and be voting for you. I mean, I'm already impressed by uh, what you've shown me. And I'm sure if I were in your electoral area, I would have just, you know, gone ahead and uh, vote for someone who is more of, a, uh, you know, engaged in uh, communal activity just to ensure that we're able to develop that area. So apart from that, any other thing you did that you want them to look at and say, uh, you know, we should be voting for Regina? Yes, I've fixed a lot of uh, street lights in my mm. community. Mm. And then, as I said... I do help a lot. Okay. Some of the help you cannot come out, mm. but the people know what Regina can do for them in their natural area. Okay. So, if they vote for you as assembly member, what are you going to do for them? How differently are you going to serve them? You know, as assembly member, you are between the people and then the assembly. Mm -hmm. So I always give them information from the assembly, mm. and I will take their own to the assembly. Mm. I will organize for communal labor. Mm. And then a lot of training like bigs making, soap making, hairdressing, seamstress, and a lot of things. Mm. 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 But how about the money issue? I mean, is money a problem? You've talked about you not having a car. When you go around, people demand money from you. Yes, they do. They've been asking you for they money. Do. Some people say, ask for them, they are selling their votes. I have yeah. to buy. <laughs> and, and they are selling their votes for how much? <laughs> So, uh, how, how, how much do they say they're selling the votes for? Some will mention some huge money yourself. <laughs> tell, tell me how much they mention some, some of the instances. I mean, how much do they say you should buy the votes? Somebody say I should give her 2000 Eh? Yeah, for 2, one 000. vote. 2000 And I say, hey, man, For one vote? Yes. When you're not going to be paid at the assembly, be yes, giving certain allowance. So you have to sit them down and talk to them. Let them understand what you want to do. Mm. Then from there, they take it. Wow. Mm. Uh, how about you, Selena? You, you also face similar problems about people requesting for money before they vote for you? Yes. Uh, some of the communities, if you go, they'll charge you. And you are from the Kuntunse electoral yes. area? Okay. They'll charge you. You want 1,000, you want 2,000 before we The organize community our or just one person? No, no, the community. The community, they want 2,000. Yes, yes, before we organize our people. But we sit down with them and tell them, uh, uh, educate them on how the district assembly election is. They'll be asking you, if you are not getting anything, you are not being paid, you don't have money, why do you campaign and go to the assembly? Mm. So you have money, that's why you are going. Get something, that's why you are going. So you should be paid or giving something. But we, 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 we talk it over and they give in to support mm. us. I, I, I hope so. I hope that uh, genuinely they've given in to support you. And I hope that others do not go there and uh, part with money because if others go there and part with money, then, then uh, they're looking at the others and saying, oh, you didn't give me anything. This person gave me something. And, yes. but, but what would you do, before I get to Vera, what would you do if elected assembly member for the Kuntunse electoral area? Okay, I've done so many things for them, mm. but there are some places where they are demanding more. And now if I go, what I want to do now is, or what the people want now, a socialist clinic. We don't have any clinic <coughs> in the electoral area. Okay. So uh, I, I, I would like to lobby for a clinic mm. in the electoral area. And also, we have only one school. That is Kutunse Basic School. Mm. It's four classes of schools. We want to upgrade it. God will if you get the land, we will do uh, 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 another school for them. Mm. And also, our drains are very bad. Okay. The roads are not good. I also want to lobby to fix the road. I can't do it myself. The assembly cannot do it alone. The, minist the ministry has to come in, or the urban roads or FIDA roads, uh, Accra or region, will lobby them to come and help us fix our roads or uh, do our drains. That's, those are the things that uh, I would like to do when I come back. Mm. Mm. Okay, so, but you know, all the things you've talked about, before I get to you, Vera, these are very ambitious projects, and as an assembly member, you're, you know, relying on uh, the assembly, even the assembly, you would have, find it very difficult raising enough revenue to do the things you're talking about, so uh, how do you convince the people that these are doable things, shouldn't we, uh, aren't you being overly ambitious, and, they, yeah. and it's going to come back to hunt you? Yes, uh, you know, our people does not understand that, they don't know that assembly cannot fix, assembly member cannot fix road. Mm. But why that is what they want, you have to go the extra mile to go to the feeder roads, go to the urban roads to lobby them to at least come to your aid and at least do something about the road. 
Well, you can go there, but um, anyway, I, I definitely will get back to you. But Vera, so you've been following, I mean, um, yeah. uh, giving these ladies a voice, and you've heard them talk about their challenges uh, and uh, that they have to go through all the time in order to even uh, contest just at a district level elections. As one who is into all of it, how do they get around these challenges? Any special support you're providing for them? Well, um, I think that I would want to congratulate them. Hmm. It's, it's a lot of uh, work and effort for them to come out to contest in the elections. You realize that the numbers keep decreasing in the district assembly and we need more and more women. And listening to them, this, they have the track records to show that they've indeed participated in the local government and they are willing to do more even beyond their capabilities and so they need the needed support. Uh, I think the support should be more holistic. Mm. It's not about what I alone can do for them. What I can do more is to encourage uh, voters to go all out to vote and support them. But it goes beyond just uh, CSOs supporting. We need, we need, you realize that the publicity for this whole district assembly election is very low and uh, most people do not even know when it's happening, what is happening, and then you realize that they all spoke about the perception at the local level about the district assembly. So it means that we need the state institutions responsible to do more of the education or more of the community sensitization, the awareness creation that our decentralization process will be more effective and uh, more efficient if we get good people at the district level for district development. So it's important that we all look at it as a nation. What do we want in our governance system? The low participation, let's look at the, the country, the numbers, the population. Majority of the population are women. And so it's not really smart for us as a country that we don't have majority of our women representing at the local level, at the regional level, even at the national level and so we need it's a critical issue that i think we need like a holistic approach we have to see it as a sense of agency to look at what can we do to support women participation in development they've shown they've proven that when given the opportunity they delivered and so when women are given the opportunity they perform equally as their men and so we need all all of all of us to encourage our women to participate sometimes when they are even contesting family members will tell them not to contest it comes with the community that she mentioned some issues of disgraceful uh, comment that is passed among them which their male counterparts uh, do not have the same and so we we as society have to understand that women are part of our society and we are part of our development process it's really not smart if we are not getting women to be part of our whole processes in the development so i think that uh i will encourage more women to continue to participate in the local level and those who have contested who have come out of their comfort zones to contest and support their communities let's all go out in our numbers to support them and also to vote for them okay so let's go out in our numbers to support them and vote for them selena i'm giving you a chance to talk to your you know um uh, electorates in the contingency electoral area what do you tell them uh, what's your position on the ballot box? Number two. Number two. So go ahead and speak to them. Okay, thank you. Uh, my regards to all my electorates in Kutunse electoral area, my chiefs, my elders, my women and youths. Uh, you can speak the local language if that's what they understand better. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, 3FM. Lebine. Mimba nye fe nye de omanye e. Mimpa nye fwa e. Ake yowe. Nye le ake sa nye support mi. Wo ye nu wawun wo yafa. Ye governance se mi. Kwenye wanyo wawwa. Wawun jwe mo fiyo nyo mo ke han woke wa hinye. Nye wawun chini bi ke ya hinye. Nye wawun mimpa nye fwa e. Nye ka shi ami. Min ya hinye. Kwenye ma wa community ye. Nye wawun nye le. Nye se ne. Nye wawun le eba. Aba grade wawun be jye fe han wo. Nye wawun ba. Nye wawun ba shashin. Nye wawun fiyo e. Ba abote he fe he. Kwenye wawun wawun nye wawun nye wawun Min ton ma fe klinik hon, ye pokpa anon. Ni bi pi jino ni kan chu yinon ni ke mba nyomwa wami ye, ma nyomwa fe ni nke wa community ye, o min kpa nye fay. Nye fe nye support ame, kamin sa vinti mi dize mba, nye ka kan shi, mo fe mwa te shi. Koni nye ya fon shiki ye nye han, min ka nomba tu, wa ye kpa, shi min ka nomba tu. Ke yini komiti me be se fe, wa nye kbo amwa den, koni nye wami, koni ma yakente ye, in shi nye, ma chunu chumon, o jokba ke he wale. 
koni mawa ni work development alono ya aba opupa anu ni wo mi npa yen mo fin mo a support me he ni sheko ni amena ko ni chumo inya ma fe fe sheko meto e wo mi npa yen fai yen wa mi ke mba mawa koni he ni sheko e yen ba na nuko ken ni yen ke wie sane ni wa don ni mo ajo yen yen onupa e fe mi nganye ma to gbe nenu ni ma nga bo afuye na ye treba ma nga mi lenche ni ni ipobi ke ni sen asafo e mi nga seriki me fe ni jisa to gbe jisa mi mi nga mo fe mo mi nga prof me ni wa mi ni lobi o ha me na me wa mi nu wo ke tun ni fiofi o fe mi nga mo fe mo me ni ha mi je mo yin onupa e fe mi nga mo fe mo ni mo ajo yen e wo yen hi wale ni ha wala ke se kele wa na fe ni 17 december wo fe wo hi wala mi ni wo ya vote ni ye ke select anti selina avevo all right, thank you very much. Uh, this is Soul Sunrise on 3FM 92.7. And this is Mission, and Mission is proudly uh, supported by Star Ghana with funding from UK, EU, and Danida. I'll get to you, um, Regina, uh, so you can also speak to your electorate. Okay, Selena, finally. Much of Ben and Nahu, Nimanga, Abantu. Abantu, Abantu for development. I'm a DJ, a cool, ni a man, I'm a yammy, ni I'm a supporter of Joba. Can you cast ni kase mo ke he wale wo ni e ba nyo nyo do mo shin a ke yo ko ni won won nyo fe e won nyo wa ya o hin e ame support oni bi pi ami ame fe posters ame ha wo ni bi ni ba wa wo ni ba wo he wale ni wo mi da me shin e a se edi e je me e wo da f ni fe ni mo ajo yen ni he fe ni yen na ye yen na ko ni ye ko ba support o in 2019 ne won na ye pi e district assembly election ne mi ye wa don all right, um, Regina. Yo, I go. Name me. Cast a fat, I may fanny your pony or two. O shall you, Regina? Name about the money. But the aqua will cool. Maybe you back on me. You find me by the money. In my poor me, can my poor be. Lalu, let try your be fan. In me, you, Regina, the day I'm on quane. Eh, blow for you up to my bonnet in your chow, aka OB one. Lay your three FM, Lady Nanny, can I be in? Yea, New York boom. Ya, what ya she? I can walk with say. No fan of me here, and you were here, chum. I feel ne, and you mean you are a for she. Connie had the machine. Yea, yea, and a jam. A can he yet any ya, the paddy you need for two of me. Here, you only. The cabin, I mean, a dear head or son. E won ye me fe ni yola lu electoral area kan ye bo mi tu ele bi ni mi npa ye fai ni ye fe ye kan ye mama ba fi ni ye mi yo rejoin na mama na bo na fe di zema 17 te ni fe ye je ko ni shi amri ma mba du o ye do ti ami la ko bo mi tu e satina ni fe ye je ni ye wo e kan ko ni mo fi ama je ko ni ye ba vote ni ani ni mi yo e kan ko ni ye le fe e no ko ni wo fe wo ke shi da han nu cho e ma ngo ni pa ife ni bo mi tu e Dotty, I mean, be sent to my care, be cocon pay be, and your friend, a camera channel, and you know, you are a bien, and they won't you see a care. A can never pass on a pea, and it be near here, I could you, I could you, and you come in the street light. A come in the gutters, a come in the can they start any one tau? Can you more family draw money, said Jemmy? Christopher, I couldn't be no work, but I feel my share were here. In can the more radio stations, no, no. Mean that more fame on enjoy trimming their warmies. Min da bantu shi ake shi. Efe e posta e hami. Le non ke chan le non. Mene gbine ke weba ta biye. Efe e na me na ka ple e na me ke wawo. Yo wani mbo den cha wo jem o bo a hami. In in dwi dra fe e ni wa mi. Yen kan pi e. Nyo mwa jo nye fe e. Ni ke kristo fe mi dro mo. Yen yak pa nye fe e nye no. Ok. Alright. Thank you ladies. And I wish you all the best. Uh, thank you very much um, Salina and Regina. Uh, we believe that the people of uh, Kuntunsi and uh, Laloi electoral area will definitely remember you. Um, Vera, just a minute, yes. Yeah, so uh, I would say that it's important that uh, as a country we also look at affirmative action bill. Mm. Uh, it's supposed to correct this gap that we have with women participation in governance. So we've been struggling around it and I think that we have to push hard to ensure that we pass the affirmative action bills to, to ensure that we increase the numbers of women participation in local governance and also we 
want to also thank our Bantu for Development for their continual support for women participation in the district assembly elections. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Vera Ado, of the, who is the executive director of the Vera Ado Foundation, Regina Didier Manko, contesting the Lalo electoral era in Pung, and Selena Vavofo. Uh, joining us this morning on Mission on 3FM 92.7. Mission is probably supported by Star Ghana with funding from EU, UK aid, and Danida.